Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about how an IC network interface card works. So I have attached two images here. First one of Ethernet card where you connect your Ethernet cable or LAN cable or RJ45 cable. And second one is of Wi-Fi and IC. So you need not to connect any cable. You can see one antenna there. A few points about NIC card. Without NIC card, network communication is not possible among computers network. You cannot access internet without NIC. So all your devices like routers, computers, laptops, switches, smartphone, tablet will have at least one NIC card. These devices can have more than one as well, like Wi-Fi NIC card plus Ethernet NIC card. Now let's quickly see MAC address. It is a 48 bits or 12 digits of serial number of the NIC card. The MAC address is burned in the room by the manufacturer of the NIC during the manufacturing. It is also known as physical network address or Ethernet address. NIC card sends the MAC address in the frame during the communication. Now let's see how network interface card NIC works. I have divided the NIC card working in two parts. When NIC card works as a sender and when NIC card work as a receiver. Now let's see how NIC card works when it is sending the signal or data to the network or any networking device. NIC cards operate on the data link and physical layer. So NIC receives the data or packet from the network layer as shown in the image first. You can see in the image first I have mentioned the the OSI model here. So the second last is the data link layer which is directly interacts with network layer. That's why I have mentioned here the NIC cards get the data or packet from the network layer. So NIC receives the packet from network layer through parallel transmission. Then it converts the data into Ethernet format following the Ethernet protocol. Then it transmits the data serially on the cable or Wi-Fi in the form of digital signal. So digital signal is nothing but a stream of zeros and ones. In the second screenshot, you can see the digital signal how it look like. So I have drawn the digital signal corresponding to bits mentioned on the image. For example, your computer's NIC works as a sender when you open any website in your computer. Let's see what is Ethernet format. So as I mentioned in the previous slide, the NIC card converts the data received from the network layer into the Ethernet format which is known as the frame. That's why here I have explained what is Ethernet format. So while converting packet into Ethernet format, the NIC card adds the source MAC address, means own MAC address, destination MAC address. So destination is where it is going to send the packet next. It could be router, it could be switch or any other computer. So it adds the source MAC address, destination MAC address and FCS code in the packet to get the frame. So frame format I have mentioned in the screenshot you can see. Packet contains the basically destination IP address, source IP address and the data. And frame, source MAC address, destination MAC address plus packet plus FCS code. I will explain what is FCS code. You can see the frame format here in the screenshot first is the destination mac address second is source mac address destination ip source ip data plus fcs destination ip source ip plus data is received from the network layer the data link layer nic adds the destination mac address source mac address and the fcs code here i have also mentioned one important point is ethernet frame size lies between 64 to 15 
वन एट बाइट्स द पेलोड और पैकेट रिसीव फ्रॉम नेटवर्क लेयर साइज कैन बी बिटवीन फोर्टी सिक्स टू फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड बाइट्स ना लेट्स सी वॉट इज एफ सी एस फ्रेम चेक सिक्वेंस इट इज एन एर डिटेक्टिंग कोड एडेड टू अ फ्रेम बाई द एन आई सी कार्ड दिस कोड इज जनरेटेड यूजिंग द सी आर सी एलगोरिथम स्क्रीन शॉट यू कैन सी द एफ सी एस एट द एंड दिस इज द इम्पोर्टेंट कोड विच इज वैलिडेड बाई द रिसीवर ऑफ द फ्रेम एवरी टाइम इन द नोट आई हैव मैं वन इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट डिवाइस लाइक राउटर स्विच कंप्यूटर ऑलवेज वैलिड द एफ सी एस एवरी टाइम फ्रेम इज रिसीव्ड बाई दैम इफ एफ सी एस वैलिडेशन इज फेल्ड इट डिस्कार्ड द फ्रेम If FCS validation is passed, it proceed further. Now, let's see how NIC card works as a receiver. Means how NIC card works when it is receiving the data or signal from the network or any network device. NIC card receives the digital signal from cable or Wi-Fi. That is the physical layer. then it converts those signal into frames and after that nic perform below steps to check if frame is valid or not so before that you can see one screen so i have attached at the bottom which is showing the osi model osi layers so at the end you can see the physical layer and you can see that is interacting with the data link layer where nic card present so physical layer giving the signal to the data link layer now let's see what all checks nic perform first is the it performs the frame size validation the frame size should not be longer than 1518 bytes else nic card will discard the frame saying frames too large so if first check is passed it will move on to the second check nic generates the fcs using crc cycle redundant code algorithm from the received pack from the received frame then it compares the generated fcs and fcs present in the received frame if both frame if both fcs do not match it means the frame is damaged or changed somewhere hence it discards that frame if fcs are matched means frame is valid and it moves on to the step third in the third step nic matches the own mac address with the one present in the frame in the destination mac address field so in the previous slide i mentioned the destination mac address in the ethernet format if mac address are not matched it discards the frame if mac addresses are matched is proceed further to remove necessary fields like destination mac address source mac address and fcs from the frame to convert this frame into packet and after conversion from frame to packet it sends the packet to the upper layer that is network layer so, and here the responsibility of the nic cards finishes as a receiver so when nic card works as a receiver i have mentioned the example your computer nic works as a receiver when you receives the response from the web server i so want to add one important point related to fcs validation so whenever router or switch receives the frame from sender it always validate this fcs if if fcs is valid it adds own generated fcs with frame and sends the frame to the next hop or the to the next networking device things i also want to highlight is to achieve high availability in the servers servers can have more than one nic cards to achieve high availability in case there is any issue with one card another card can take care of the communication so that it does not affect the service hosted in the server also one important point i have mentioned here wifi with ethernet protocol so just to avoid any kind of confusion wifi protocols works on the top of the ethernet protocol so nic working is same as ethernet 
NIC accept Wi-Fi converts the Wi-Fi NIC converts the frame into radio signal and and it sends to the network this diagram I have drawn to explain the complete end-to-end -end flow like sender and receiver so here you can see the laptop this is your laptop then it is connected to the router this is the home router then so this is the router of the ISP from where you have taken the internet connection then this your home router is connected to the ISP router the company who has given you the internet connection then this ISP router or internet service provider router is connected to the the other router and finally it goes to the server you can also see the red arrow near the laptop here the RG45 cable or Ethernet cable has been inserted that is the Ethernet port and this Ethernet port operates on the data link layer and physical layer as I mentioned in the previous slides also in the previous sessions suppose user or you enters the website URL in the browser in your laptop you have opened one website so when you open the website so what happens the signal flows from application layer down the line to the physical layer so when you enter the URL one HTTP request is generated from the application layer to the presentation layer then to the session layer then that is forwarded to the transport layer TCP layer then it forwards to the then TCP layer send the request to the network layer I'm not going to explain the OSI model just a just want to focus on the data link layer NIC operates on the data link layer the physical layer so network layer sends the packet actually so network layer sends the packet to the data link layer where NIC cards operate So after NIC card receives the data from the network layer, what it does, it sends the signal to the physical layer where your cable is present. So what I mean is the NIC card sends the signal on this blue color cable, Ethernet cable, and this and via this ethernet cable it reaches to the home router your router then router forward this to the isp router and this then it goes to the the server so this is how the transmission happened before your laptop nic card sends the information or signal on the ethernet cable it performs all those steps which we have discussed in the in the previous slide where I mentioned NIC card as a sender after getting the data or packet from network layer it convert that packet into ethernet format to get the frame then actually that frame is sends on the ethernet cable so finally request is reaches to the server frame which your laptop NIC card has generated it reaches to the server 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 will also have one NIC card as I mentioned every device in the networking like your server computers routers which is laptops will have one NIC card and after receiving the frame your server will do all those steps which we have discussed in the previous slide where I mentioned how NIC card works as a receiver so it validates the frame then it it will remove all these destination source MAC address FCS and then it will hand over the so basically internally it will hand over the request to the network layer so again the OSI model comes into the picture after it process the the frame it sends the response back to your laptop so then in this case when it is sending the when it is sending the response 
in this case it is working at the sender now and the request comes to your isp router then your isp router will forward forward the request to the home router your home router then your laptop works as the receiver then your laptop and ic will work as a receiver and it will follow the same step which we mentioned in the previous slide where we were talking about nic working as a receiver same i mentioned in the case of server and server receives the frame or the data signal after your laptop receive the response again it follow the osi model it will it will process that data received frame then it will send the it will convert the frame into packet it will send to network layer then it goes on up to the application layer so this is how this is how the complete end-to-end -end flow works so that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video